Hello, my name is Mike Driscoll, and today we're going to talk about function overloading with Python. What is function overloading anyway? So function overloading is where you have a generic function that is composed of multiple functions implementing the same operation for different types. Um, that's kind of a complicated way of saying that you have the same function multiple times and it accepts like different uh, data types. So if you call like a function with an integer or with a float or with a list or a tuple, uh, it'll enter, it'll act differently depending on what type is passed to it. It is, in other words, it is disp determined by the dispatch algorithm. Uh, that's the kind of the fancy way of saying that that's how it works. Um, Python only supports dispatched, dispatching based on the type of the first argument of a function. This is in contrast to other languages like C++, which can look at all of the arguments, um, data types, and determine which function to call based on those data types. So, you may not know this, but Python actually comes with the ability to do function overloading out of the box, and that is in functools.singledispatch. Let's take a look at a code example. Okay, here we go. From functools, import single dispatch. Uh, first, we create an add function and we decorate it with our at single dispatch uh, decorator. This is our generic function. This function is called if you pass in a data type that we're not currently registering to use single dispatch. To actually use this function, we have to create an at add dot register uh, decorator. And you'll note that the at add is defined by the name of the generic function. So add, at add, add, and then you register that we want to use an integer here. So if we call this code with something like an integer, uh, it should end up just um, running this code up here. So let's just give it a try and see what happens. We'll run it, save. Looks like I didn't save this one quite yet. So we'll just call single. Okay, let's try this out. All right, so the first argu argument is of type uh, int and it prints out three. Awesome, we've got it working. Let's try it using this uh, with a different type of data type. So let's try it with a float and see what happens. If we run this with a float, we should end up getting an error. So you'll see it's a not implemented error. It's already, it's already caught that because we don't have it registered here. So to make that work, we can just add a new, a new function and we'll register it with a float. All right, now let's rerun this code and see if this works. And now we see the first argument is a float and we get 3.0 as the return, as the value that it, it does after it adds. So you can see, you can uh, implement different kinds of add functions and have them do different things based on the first argument of uh, the function, the, the first argument data type, I mean. Um, this is really cool and can be really helpful in uh, cleaning up your code if you have a lot of functions that do something similar, but you want them to behave differently depending on what data type is passed to them. Um, now, let's go back over here. Um, there are some multiple dispatch packages for Python. One is called Plum. It seems to be pretty popular right now. And I think it's worth a look I couldn't actually find any examples that showed it using uh, multiple um, data types at all. It seems to be using one here, but it claims that it does multiple dispatch. So I think it's something worth looking at and giving it a try. And it even has some comparison uh, later on in this document to multiple dispatch, which is the other library out there that, suppo that supposedly does multiple dispatch in Python. So, you know, you should definitely check out both of those and uh, check those out because they they will implement uh, checking both or, or more than one of the arguments data types. And you'll note that at least with uh, multiple dispatch, you specify that in the decorator itself. Anyway, I really appreciate that you took the time to watch this and I hope you all come back and watch some more of my videos.